Okay, in this lesson, we are going to talk about box and whisker plots. So before we even start talking about box and whisker plots, you need to know something called the five point summary. So the five point summary is this. Five point summary is maximum, which means the highest number. It's also called the upper extreme. If you hear that, upper extreme. The minimum, which is the lowest number of a group of data. Um, it's also called the lower extreme. Um, Q1, which is, it's also called the lower quartile, and I will explain how to get that in just a minute. Q3 is also called the upper quartile. And then the median, you know what the median is, is just the middle um, number from the data, and that's sometimes called Q2 as well. Um, so this is the five point summary. I'm gonna tell you how to figure it all out, okay? So, in that case, let's just talk about how a box and whisker plot looks. So, we have a box and whisker plot, and so this is how a box and whisker plot looks. Sometimes, sometimes there can be like, they have different shapes. The box could be over here, like that, okay? But they all have the same parts. Sometimes these parts Sometimes it might look funny and the box and whisker might only have one whisker. And I'll explain that kind of towards the end. But for right now, this is a whisker right here. Right here is a whisker. This is called the box. And then there's another whisker. That's why it's called a box and whisker plot. Okay, box and whisker plot right there. Okay, now I'm gonna identify the five point summary on the box and whisker plot. So, so here we have a box and whisker plot. Right here, this is the minimum. That little dot stands for the minimum of the data. Okay, right here, the left end of the box stands for what you call Q1, or the lower quartile. The little line within the box is where the median is. And then the right side of the box is the Q3. Remember the median can also be called Q2. It is the quartile three or the upper quartile. And then finally the last dot represents the max, okay? Represents the max. So this is how you would read a box and whisker plot. Now I'm gonna tell you how to get all of these five things, okay? So your first step when given a group of data, so let's say I give a group of data, 8, 24, 27, 14, 18, 32, 45, and 36. So let's say I Okay, so this is my group of data, and so I have all these numbers. The first step to drawing a box and whisker plot is listing these from least to greatest. So I'm gonna erase this group, and I'm gonna list these numbers from least to greatest. So that's your first step. Order them from least to greatest. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so now this data is from least to greatest. So now I'm gonna find the five point summary. So the max, the minimum, the quarter one, the quarter three, so lower quartile, upper quartile, and then the median. Okay, the max and min are the easiest to do. So the max is the highest number, so that's 45. The min is the lowest number, so that's eight. And the median would be the next thing you would wanna find. So that's the middle number. So we cross off one from the back front, one from the back, one from the front, one from the back, one from the front, one from the back. If I cross off one from the front, I can't do it. So we have two numbers in the middle. When you have two numbers in the middle, you take the average of them, which means that you add them up, 24 plus 27, and divide them by two. So when you do that, you get 25.5. So that is the median, 25.5.
I like to draw a line where the median will be because then this splits our work up into a lower half and to an upper half. And that is how you find Q1 and Q3. Q1, the lower quartile, is only the median of the lower half. Q3 is the median of the upper half, okay? You do not include the median, but since the median is in between 24 and 27, 24 goes with the lower side, and 27 goes with the higher side. So now we find the median of the lower side. So cross eight off, cross 24 off. Oh, we got two in the middle. So again, we take the average of them. 14 plus 18 divided by two would give us 16. So Q1 um, is 16. Now we find the median of the upper half to find Q3. So one, one, oh, in the middle. 32 and 36, so in the middle of those, add them up, divide by two, you would get 34. So I have the five point summary. So once I have the five point summary, I can draw my box and whisker plot. You do a number line. I am going to um, go up by fives here. Okay, so here's my number line. And so my minimum eight, so it goes about right there, is one of the dots. My maximum is one of the dots, so 45 right there. And then remember, my Q1 is the left side of the box, so 16. So I'm gonna draw my left side of the box there. My Q3 is the right side of the box, 34. So right there, so I can draw my box now, can connect those, and I can draw my whiskers. Connect the whiskers to the box. And then the median is the line that goes inside the box, 25.5, so about right there. And I draw it, and then I have my box and whisker plot. So you see, box and whisker plot right there. Five point summary. Let's do, um, oh, let me teach you something, what we call the interquartile range. So the interquartile range just means that I'm gonna subtract Q3 and Q1. The interquartile range is the range between on the box, okay? So Q3 is 34 and Q1 is 16. So I do 34 minus 16 and get 18. This is what you call the interquartile range or IQR. So interquartile range or IQR. You just subtract the Q3 minus the Q1 to find that. You use IQR to calculate what we call outliers. Okay, an outlier is a number that doesn't really go with the data. So to calculate, let's use that. Um, let's use our IQR was 18, right? So to find an outlier, you multiply the IQR by 1.5. You will always multiply the IQR by 1.5. The 1.5 doesn't change. So once you find the IQR, you multiply it by 1.5. And then when you get that number, so 18 times 1.5 is 27. So when you get that number, our Q1, let me remind myself of our Q1 was 16, and our Q3 was 34. So when you get that number, you um, you take this number and you subtract it from Q1, and that's the lowest you can go, and then you add it to Q3. So if we subtract it to Q1, 16 minus 27, we get negative 11. And if we add it to Q3, 34 plus 27, we get 61. So this is the range that my data can be in negative 11 to 61. If there is anything outside this range, it's what you call an outlier, which doesn't really fit into the data. If you remember our data, our minimum was eight and our max was 45. So all of the data in this one didn't have an outlier. Everything fit into the data selection. So you look for an outlier. Now, if I had like 98 in this, it would be an outlier because it's not in the range from negative 11 to 61. So that's how you calculate outliers.
that's just a little bonus for you. Okay, let's do another one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna already do the data from least to greatest. Just know that when you get a group of data, you have to order it from least to greatest. So I'm gonna already order this data that I know from least to greatest. And I'm gonna write the five point summary. Maximum, minimum, Q1, Q3, and median. And the first two things are the max and min. So the max is 36, because I have it from least to greatest, and the minimum's 27. And then I find the median. Cross one off, cross one off, cross one off, cross one off. I'm finding the middle number. So the median here is going to be 32.5 because we take the average, 32 plus 33 divided by two is 32.5. Q1, so I draw where the median is, I draw my line and I split it between lower half and upper half. Q1 is the median of the lower half, so boop, boop, in the middle there is 30. Boop, boop, in the middle here is 34, so that's my Q3. And now I can draw my um, box and whisker plot. So I am going to start off with 25 and then just go up by five here. So my little number line here. So my minimum's 27, so right there. My maximum's 36, so right there. My Q1 is 30, that's the left end of my box. My Q3 is 34, that's my right end of my box. Draw my box. And then my median is 32.5, so that's the line that goes in, and then connect my whiskers. And then I have my box. So, yeah, so let's read boxes for a minute. Let me do that. So let's read this box. So if you notice, this whisker is a little shorter than that whisker, which tells me that most of my data is towards the lower end and not the higher end of this data. My median is also towards the left side of the box, which means most of my data is on the lower end. Okay, so that's how you read it. If you notice, a box and whisker plot splits it into four parts. So I'm gonna draw a better box and whisker so I can explain this. Because it splits it up into four, four parts. So we have a box and whisker So, splits it up into four parts. So that means from the whisker to the left side of the box represents 25% of the data. From the left side of the box to the median represents another 25% of the data. And from the median to the right side of the box is 25% of the data. And from the um, right side of the box to the end is still 25% of the data. So if my box, the box represents 50% of the data. So if my box is really together like that, which means that most of, like in the middle of my data, 50% of my data is really, really close together. Okay? So that's what all of these mean. So let's look at the different shapes of the different shapes of them. So if I have a box that looks like this and it doesn't have a left-sided whisker, that means that the minimum, the minimum and the Q1, which represents the left side of the box, are the same. They're the same number. Okay, the same number. So the lower quartile and the minimum are the same number. If I have a box that looks like this, and it doesn't have a line in the middle of it, this means that either the Q1 equals the median, or the Q3 equals the median depending. So either this line is also the median or this line is also the median. So either Q1 equals the median or Q3 equals the median. And then 
The other way a box can look is if it doesn't have a whisker on the other side. So if it doesn't have a whisker on this side, this means that Q3 in the, not the median, Q3 and the max, maximum are the same. Q3 and the max. So that means that this right here represents the maximum number in the data as well as the upper quartile. So that is just a few, um, a few little steps about box and whisker pods. Hope you liked it. Thanks.